Hello guys, welcome back. Welcome to Bin's Vlog. And today we're going to talk about how to replace a faulty EVR and what is the problem if uh, why it is failing so now let's go for the uh, actual set of the generator so we can talk about the important things we're going to do in changing or replacing a faulty EVR so let's go there and so guys I'm here in our generator so we can see the actual voltage that I'm going to show so uh, you know the problem so I will start the generator now. So now we're going to start the generator. So manual and then start. So you can see the boot. So guys, as you can see, the voltage is low. It's only around uh, 53 or something, the, the voltage you can see in the video. So that one is low voltage, showing you the low voltage. Now I will test also uh, in order to know if EVR is the problem. We're going to uh, excite our uh, alternator. So now I will check. So just stay tuned. So now guys I will show you the connections on how to excite our uh, alternator. Our exciter I mean. So now you do it first. Just remove the positive uh, supply for your uh, exciter. It's, it's, it's connected to your AVR. So uh, this is your exciter. So this is your positive and negative now. How we're going to connect some of the cables. So So this is the one I'm going to connect. Yeah. So now I'm inserting the cable. And then this one is for the negative. So I'm going to insert. It's very difficult you know to insert because I'm alone. Uh, my partner is busy so I cannot assist cannot assist me. So okay now. So that make it sure that our connections is correct. So we have the red is for your positive and the other color is your negative. Now, uh, in order to uh, so uh, in order to do that, so meaning if you start the generator, you're going to connect the two wires, positive and the negative, into a 12 volt battery. So make it sure that it is a uh, 12 volt battery. Do not. Uh, inject the supply for your exciter if it is 24 volts because it will cause you uh, high ohms so now i will start the generator and uh, i will show you what happened to the supply if your alternator and your exciter is in the good conditions okay I will show you the battery. Here is our battery. So this is our positive. You have to connect the positive in this side, and uh, the negative is in this side. This is how we do our excitations. Now we are going to start first the, first the generator in order to do the excitations. So okay. So now guys we are going to start the engine so you can see the voltage 
if we excite so now I will start Now, uh, you see the voltage if we excite, we inject the positive and the negative, so you see the voltage how much it will up. Now, we tried already to uh, excite, so meaning the result is our exciter is working fine and the alternator itself, it is uh, working fine. So now, the problem is our uh, EVR itself is the problem. So now we're going to replace it and we're going to remove the wiring and replace the EVR. So let's go for the other side. So I will show you how to replace the EVR. It's okay, okay guys? So guys, I'm here. I have already the new EVR. This one, same EVR. This is uh, R250 because the EVR we're going to replace is uh, R250 also. So make it sure when uh, you are replacing the EVR for the sensing. What is the ranges of your sensing? If it is to 20, to, to 40, or 300 to 500 sensing, make it sure always that you are in correct uh, sensing. And so, guys, we're going to start. And uh, so, what will happen to the voltage if it is back to the normal? Because we are replaced already the new one. So, it's supposed to be this one is the voltage will be back to the normal. So, I will start now. So guys as you can see our voltage is normal because this generator is set to the 415 voltage so meaning the voltage shown there now is 415 so everything is okay so we replace it correctly and we uh, restore everything correctly so So that's it for today guys, so uh, see you again for my next vlog. Don't forget to watch and subscribe for the next vlogs. Thank you, thank you for watching.